What up you guys? I just made breakfast and for the first time in like six weeks I'm like eating oatmeal again. So I'm super excited. I thought I would take you through what I eat in a day. Just kind of break it down where I'm getting my nutrition advice from. Why I eat what I eat. Um, what I stay away from. Because I do have some snacks here and there. But for the most part it's whole plant foods. Uh, very minimally processed. So first and foremost I start with an oatmeal. If it wasn't for oatmeal, then I was eating uh, brown rice, lentils, broccoli, and avocado for breakfast with some sauerkraut. It was like a go-to. It was very good, very satisfying. I follow Dr. Greger's um, a daily dozen sort of fact sheet. He's a nutritionist. Well, he's not really a nutritionist. He's a whole foods plant-based doctor that has um, a very substantial knowledge on nutrition and uh, dietary recommendations super delicious uh, checks like three or four boxes on my list and then we move on to lunch sorry all right so there's a lot going on right now i'm just preparing lunch i'll turn this off so I have some leftovers from yesterday, it's going to be some beans with some greens and rice and I cooked up some potatoes. I'm going to show you guys, I just came back from the store and we're going to have some lunch. So in the air fryer, I have some regular and sweet potatoes. I just started reincorporating foods, so sweet potatoes are all new. There's about one sweet potato in there, the rest are regular potatoes. I have some short grain brown rice microwaved up and then here I have some home cooked chickpeas with some sauteed uh, asparagus and garlic I've been putting a lot of garlic on food it's a fantastic antimicrobial shit you get the point anyway Dr. Greger suggests to eat lots of whole grains beans and vegetables that's the basis of the diet and then of course supplementing that is as many whole fruits as possible and then uh, in addition some micronutrients in the forms of some nuts and seeds so your healthy fats and then of course some spices so I consume spice wise like cinnamon and some other like like things like cumin and turmeric um, you pick what's good for you I really love this checklist I'm somebody who's very anal retentive in uh, following patterns so I kind of feel like a job well done after every meal that I can incorporate these healthy whole fresh foods and actually enjoy it like this stuff is gonna be amazing like look at this it's got like it's gonna have some ketchup with that this one has the garlic and some salt and pepper I'm gonna add some sauerkraut on top of this and all this together is just such a healthy bountiful meal and it's gonna help me heal my skin so fantastic lunch all right guys it's like mid-afternoon-ish I usually have dinner around 5 it's 4 30 I've got some brown rice cooking in the rice cooker I've got some uh, beans left over from lunch I had two apples and a banana and some handful of, like these toasted pumpkin seed snacks it's just maple syrup and sea salt just a small handful as a snack and now I'm having Fuck me, a rice cake. I'm having a rice cake with some jam on it. I don't know if I snack a lot or if I snack a normal amount, but whatever I do snack, it's usually healthy foods. It's a whole grain rice cake. It's uh, whatever, organic jam with cane sugar. Um, but usually it's fruits. So, last meal of the day coming up. I'll show you guys what I eat. When the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie. Alright, what up you guys? I forgot to film an outro for the last meal of my day, my dinner. My roommate had come home so we were chatting and listening to music and I just didn't have time to sort of cut her off and explain what I was eating. Um, but you see, you saw what I ate. You get the gist of it. It's whole grains, potatoes, beans, and vegetables and sauerkraut. I've been incorporating sauerkraut at every single meal now except for breakfast 
and I just love it. I don't know how to describe it, but I really love this diet. There are so many reasons why I choose to stay vegan, not just because the nutritional uh, data is so compelling and the evidence for a whole foods plant-based diet is just so compelling to, to increase longevity, keep away chronic diseases, help people heal diseases. But it's also, it's just so much fun, it's so delicious. I love fruits, I love vegetables, I love spices and herbs and potatoes and brown rice and beans. It's just so satisfying and I've never been so happy and satisfied and so at peace on a diet. I don't feel like I have to restrict or stay away from foods or eat in moderation. See you in the next video. Peace.